Guardians of the Galaxy is another movie from the Marvel Studio and franchise. This comes on the wake of the end of Iron Man 3, Thor 2 and Captain America the Winter Soldier. So they've taken a whole new comic book for this new film. One that has never been put into a film or a series or even cartoons before as it was based on one of their comic books that only lasted 45 issues before being axed and then to be brought back for a few 12 or so issues I think before the Guardians of the Galaxy film was actually released. So it wasn't one of their biggest franchises in the comic books and it was a bit unknown to everybody but it takes it away from the realm of Earth and the realm of Thor's universe and brings it to a whole new galaxy, a new part of the galaxy which we've already gone into briefly once with Thor when you see the collector at the end of Thor The Dark World. So they have kind of briefly skimmed across it before releasing Guardians of the Galaxy. This one is a more of a light-hearted film compared to Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World and Captain America The Winter Soldier where Iron Man 3 was pretty much finishing off the major Iron Man story arc and Thor The Dark World showed you more of the universe that was out there and Captain America The Winter Soldier was a political thriller set alongside Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. series. So you had to watch the series and watch the film to fully understand what was happening within that part of the Marvel series franchise. But with this one it's a brand new one, brand new characters and a whole new array of bad guys entering into the race.